So today I'm really excited to show you something that I've been playing around with lately and it's the um, Inspira Cutwork Needles and I got mine in the Husqvarna Viking um, Embroidery Cutwork Needle Kit and in this kit you get a couple different fun things. You get a CD of designs, you get some instructions, you get the needles which are the best part and you get a little um, tool to help you insert the needles. And um, this is actually a really nice thing. But there are a couple tips and tricks that I have learned from doing it, so I'm going to share this with you. But first, I just wanted to let you know what you're going to have to do to set up to get ready to do cut work. So what you do is you remove your hoop, the inner and outer hoop, and get it ready. And make sure, and this is just to show you how it happens and how you really go and hoop this. So what you do you put your hoop down and then you'll take your water soluble stabilizer and you'll take your fabric and you'll know you'll have marked where you want the design to be and then all you do is just hoop it together and that's really easy let's see sometimes getting these in you have to work a little bit and there it's that easy so then you're ready to go but let me just show you what I've been working on and this is my test design and it's one of the designs that came in my ruby and it is a cutwork design and I love it but I'm using it for a huge tablecloth and you can see I've got my water soluble stabilizer and then I have my uh, white linen that I'm going to turn into a tablecloth and I've already started the embroidery but I stopped it right at the point that um, uh, it goes through and it marks where it's going to do the cutwork and then right before you actually insert the cutwork needles to share that with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, but I just want to show you how you um, hoop your fabric and the stabilizer to get yourself ready to go since I've already done that. And I'm just going to go ahead and get my ruby in position and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so what you're seeing Ruby do right now is reinforce the spots where she's going to go through and use the cutwork needles to cut out this fabric. And um, I'm so excited, I love this so much. But you see that the reinforcing is actually built into one of the last color blocks before the Inspira cutwork needles. And as soon as it's done sewing all of this up, um, the screen will indicate that it is time to change to the cutwork needles. All right, so the machine has already gone through and reinforced all the areas it was going to go through with the cutwork needles and cut everything out. And I just wanted to point out ahead of time, this is a huge piece of fabric. It's over three yards long. So I have it resting on a chair so that it can easily be moved by the sewing machine because you don't want this to be inhibited any way from moving because that could spell disaster if you walk away from your machine and you're doing the dishes or vacuuming or something. Um, so I'm just going to go over here and use the included tool that came with the machine um, with the cutwork kit and I'm just going to switch out the needles. And the Inspira cutwork needles are little blade needles and I love them so much and this little tool um, helps you remove um, actually any needle that you already have. So you're just going to go ahead and unscrew the needle just loosen that to release it and you're going to unthread the top needle and put your needle someplace safe so you don't lose it or damage it because you're going to need that later and it says change to Inspira or change to cutwork needle Inspira cutwork needle one and it's color coded red so you already know but even if the color wore off there's a little one engraved on this so you can always know which one it is and you just insert your needle so just make sure it's in there all the way and tighten up your screw really nicely and then you're going to go ahead and I had changed my speed down because I was embroidering with a metallic thread but you can go ahead and change your speed up to high one last thing though you need to press the scissor button And it might be a good idea to press the scissor button before you put in that cutwork needle. I just saw it go down and pierce the fabric, but luckily it was already in a spot where it needed to be. But what you're going to do, and I'm just going to walk over here, excuse me, is remove this. Because it, in the instructions, it tells you to go ahead and remove the top thread. But one thing it doesn't tell you to do is remove the bobbin thread which is really important and it's not in the instructions and I don't think anybody will tell you to do that. But go ahead and replace it with just a plain empty bobbin. And there is a very specific reason for this because on my third cut work, and I'm just going to go ahead and slide my hoop right back in. On my third cut work that I ever did, um, my machine went and 
pulled the bobbin thread into the mechanism and uh, just started raveling thread all throughout the machine underneath. And what it did is it broke my machine somehow. It needed to go in for repair and um, they told me it was my fault, user error, so it wasn't covered under my warranty. And um, an easy way to make sure that this doesn't happen is to just replace your bobbin with an empty one. It's not in the instructions. It's an easy fix and you'll never have that problem. But go ahead and press start and you'll see you'll see that it says the bobbin empty. Move to bobbin position and you don't need to worry about that. Just go ahead and override that by pressing the start button. And you can see the needles going up and down, up and down, up and down, and these cut out the fabric for you. Okay, so now it wants me to change the Inspira Cowork needle too. But what I like to do before I even try and do that is see if I can remove all the little cut pieces. And if you can, you don't need to go ahead and use the second cycle of the needle. And you can save that needle some wear and tear. And I like to do this with a little stiletto, makes it easier. And I love this stiletto, the 4-in-1 essential tool. It's so much fun. But just go through and pick these out. and see if you missed any down here and you see usually the first needle does all the work for you and i have been using the same set of needles i got a spare set just in case but i've been using the same set of needles for all my cut work projects and this is probably the seventh one i've done and then i'm just going to go through at the bottom with these um duckbill applique scissors and i'm not sure if you can see this um but i'm just going to trim a little bit away right from the very bottom because this is an edge applique. You don't want to cut too much though, just so that when the machine goes and overcasts it, it doesn't sew this fabric back together. And only from the bottom because this is a border. So that's all you need to do. And I love these duckbill applique scissors. Very fun, but not necessary. You can totally do that with any scissors. Those just make it kind of fun. So then the next thing you can do is go ahead and press OK and you don't need to um, do that. You can X out of the bobbin empty and you can scroll down to the next color, which is gray. And I should say that I have um, changed all of the colors to a much simpler palette of five different colors and um, metallic silver for accents. And then I've already figured out what colors I want. So I know that gray is this darker blue. I'm just gonna go ahead and thread my machine with it really fast.